People have no clue what's going on, what goes on when you cross over onto the other side. And God showed me that. When I went to hell, it was, it was crazy. People were actually like, nasty. Everything that was in the Bible detailing hell, it was actually there. And y'all, I knew that this was hell. But I knew I was in hell. I had the knowledge that I was in hell. I had the knowledge that these, everyone here was in hell. But when I entered into this place, I knew it was hell. When I was in hell, I couldn't fathom or understand what I was seeing. I knew, I knew it was hell. Like, I just knew. I was in hell. Telling you the truth, that there is a hell. I was tortured. I went straight to hell. People, it was real. Hell is real. Okay, I'm not making this up. This is a real story, and hell is real. And I heard the devil say, welcome home. I had nothing but, but questions. I was trying to figure out where I was, why am I here? Hell is a real place, and there are people who are there. They are being tormented right now while I'm making this video. At this point, my torment starts. I was in this really dark, scary place. And oh my gosh, I was burning. Do you hear me? I was burning up. All of these people that I spoke to and all these people that I seen, they all had something in common. They did not repent of their sins. I can actually see the people crying and begging for mercy and it was too late. Hundreds of skeletons and these demonic figures everywhere. So torment, it went over and over and over and over and over. So I basically plead into the Lord. I'm like, Lord, I'm so sorry, Father God. If you get me up out of this, God, I promise you I would not do it anymore. The scariest thing about being in hell is knowing that you're not getting out. I heard this voice and Jesus was like, I, yes, Jesus. He was like, you're not in hell for smoking weed. You're in hell because you will not stop smoking weed. Things with I asked myself, I said, what am I, am I in hell? Even though, in my, even in my own knowledge, I knew I was in hell. I screamed the name of Jesus. Screamed it. I'm talking about, I screamed like a little girl. Yeah. Right, as far as I can see, I'm seeing people. I'm seeing people and everybody is, there's no interaction amongst us. Nobody's interacting with anybody. I started hearing people screaming. The fear that was, that was there, it was like, it was controlling the environment. And it was like, what am I doing here? How did I get here? Did I die? I seen it. Being dead was the only thing that I could think of. How did I die? Did I die? And what am I doing here? The screams that I heard, you know what I'm saying? Just the cries, people were screaming and crying and just yelling. Right then and there, I was like, oh my God, I'm in hell. I couldn't even believe that I'm in hell and that there's, now I can actually feel the heat that is above me. You know, and I'm looking around to, where am I? The, the heat felt like real life. I could see the silhouettes of the people that was in there. You know, it's been two days and I could almost still feel the terror of being there. It was just super demonic and they were pointing at me and they were just like, just laughing at me like laughing at the fact that they knew that I was in hell. The amount of heat that I felt on top of me, the immense heat that I felt on top of me was so scary. But they were all looking at me, just me. They were all looking at me, all these people. I was lying on my bed in my uni room, yeah? And I was on the phone to my girl. I was not sleeping, this was no dream. I was on the phone to my girl and I came out of my body. So this happened. Right then and there, I was like, oh my God, I'm in hell. I couldn't even believe that I'm in hell and that there's, now I can actually feel the heat that is above me. All around me was darkness. It was pitch black and it was musty. And I remember just being so confused. Hundreds of skeletons and these demonic figures everywhere. I understood that this was a, I am absent of time and this place goes on forever. I saw no flesh, like actual flesh skin. All I saw was um, the skeleton and they had rags and they were all ripped and everyone was like dragging. Even if you're there with millions upon trillions upon trillions of people, you feel as lonely as if you're the only one there. They flesh, like it was all gone, but they can still feel it like their flesh was still on them. So it was, it was scary. I felt God say to me that in hell, your prayers are not heard. You can pray all, all day long, makes no difference. Your prayers don't go nowhere.